Today I will be reading Mr. Noisy by Roger Hargreaves. Mr. Noisy was a very, very noisy person indeed. For example, if Mr. Noisy was reading the story to you, he'd be shouting at the top of his voice. And the top of Mr. Noisy's voice is a very loud place indeed. You can hear it from a hundred miles away. For example, when most people sneeze, you can hear them in the next room. But, a tissue! When Mr. Noisy screams, you can hear him in the next country. Now, this story starts when Mr. Noisy is asleep in bed in his bedroom in his house, which is on top of a hill. He was snoring. And as you can very well imagine, when Mr. Noisy snores, that is a snore worth hearing. It sounds more like a herd of elephants than a snore. Then, Mr. Noisy's alarm clock went off. Mr. Noisy's alarm clock sounds like no other alarm clock in the world. It sounds more like a fire engine. Mr. Noisy immediately woke up. And so, too, did all of the people who lived in Wobble Town, which is at the bottom of Mr. Noisy's hill. Later that day, Mr. Noisy decided that he had to go shopping. He went out of his house, shutting the door behind him. Bang! The door wobbled. The house wobbled. The whole hill wobbled. Wobble Town wobbled. Even a bird flying high above wobbled. Then, Mr. Noisy walked down the hill. Clump, clump, clump. He walked into the baker shop. Crash went the door as he opened it. Bang went the door as he shut it. I like a loaf of bread, boomed Mr. Noisy to Miss Crumb, the baker's wife. Mrs. Crumb trembled and sold him a loaf. Then, Mr. Noisy walked along the street to the butcher. Clump, clump, clump. He walked into the butcher's shop. Crash went the door as he opened it. Bang went the door as he shut it. I'd like a piece of meat, boomed Mr. Noisy to Mr. Bacon, the butcher. Mr. Bacon trembled and sold him some meat. Afterwards, Mrs. Crump met Mr. Bacon in the street. We really must do something about Mr. Noisy, she said. Absolutely, replied Mr. Bacon. But what? I know, said Mrs. Crump. She whispered into Mr. Bacon's ear. Mr. Bacon smiled a small smile, which grew into a broad grin. Miss Crump, he said, I think you have the answer. The following day, Mr. Noisy again went shopping down to Wobble Town. Clump, clump, clump. He went into Mrs. Crumb's shop. I'd like a loaf of bread, he boomed. Sorry, what did you say? asked Mrs. Crumb, pretending not to hear. I'd like a loaf of bread, Mr. Noisy shouted. Sorry, said Mrs. Crumb, putting her hand to her ear. Can you speak up, please? I'd like a loaf of bread, roared Mr. Noisy. Can't hear you, replied Mrs. Crump. Mr. Noisy gave up and went out. Mr. Noisy went into Mr. Bacon's shop. I'd like a piece of meat, he boomed. Mr. Bacon pretended not to notice. I'd like a piece of meat. Mr. Noisy shouted. Did you say something? asked Mr. Bacon. I said, I'd like a piece of meat, boomed Mr. Bacon. Pardon, said Mr. Bacon. Mr. Noisy gave up and went out and went home and went to bed, hungry. The day after, Mr. Noisy tried again. He went into Mrs. Crumb's shop. I'd like a loaf of bread, he boomed. A what? Mr. Noisy started shouting at the very top of his voice. A loaf of... And then he stopped. And then he thought. 
he said quietly. I'd like a loaf of bread, please. Mrs. Crump. Mrs. Crump smiled. Certainly, she said. Then, Mr. Noisy went into Mr. Bacon's shop. I'd like a piece of meat, he boomed. Did you say something? asked Mr. Bacon. Yes, I did, shouted Mr. Noisy at the very, very top of his voice. I said I'd like a... And then he stopped, and then he thought, and then he said quietly, I'd like a piece of meat, please, Mr. Bacon. Mr. Bacon smiled. My pleasure, he said. So, carrying his bread and his meat, Mr. Noisy set off home, up the hill. Clump, clump, clump. Then he stopped. Then he thought, and then, do you know what he did? He tiptoed. A tiptoe was something Mr. Noisy had never tried before. It was fun. Mr. Noisy arrived at his front door. He put out his hand to open the door, then he stopped, and then he thought. And then, do you know what he did? He opened the door, very, very quietly. He stepped inside, and then he shut the door. Very gently, quietly, and gently were two things Mr. Noisy had never tried before either. This was fun too. And do you know something? From then on, Mr. Noisy isn't anything like as noisy as he used to be. And do you know something else? The people of Wobbletown are delighted, especially Mrs. Crum and Mr. Bacon. And do you know something else? Mr. Noisy has learned how to whisper.